While speculation about the growing closeness of the NCP and the BJP were already rife, now an article in the Samna, that's the Shiv Sena's mouthpiece, has further fueled this speculation about an understanding between the two. An article in the paper by Sanjay Raut, the party Shiv Sena MP and spokesperson, has quoted the NCP chief, Sharad Pawar, saying that the Prime Minister told him that he wanted Supriya Sule in the union cabinet and according to this piece Mr. Pawar also added that Supriya Sule was present at the meeting with the Prime Minister and turned down the offer that uh, she saying that she would be the last person to join the BJP. Sunita Chaudhary is following this story she joins us now. Sunita you managed to speak with Ms. Sule what is she saying in response to this piece? Well it, to exactly take those words from there she said there was no such meeting and she also said that she did not meet the Prime Minister with her father. That's the denial that Supriya Sule told us about, that there was no such meeting. In fact, uh, I also spoke to Supriya Sule just before the reshuffle because even at that time, uh, these speculations because of the fact that Samna was criticizing its alliance partners in Mumbai every single day. They were criticizing them and then of course they were left out of any kind of uh, you know of induction as well they haven't been uh, in the cabinet ever since uh, it was just Suresh Prabhu went over to the BJP and Anil Desai was left out of that induction a couple of years ago since then the Shiv Sena has been very very upset about not being consulted at all and so they have been writing every single day and at that time when we spoke to Supriya Sule she had said it's completely uh, you know speculation that there was no basis to the fact that she was joining or the NCP was joining government what of course set this off is the presidential polls and in before that as well we saw the Gujarat Rajya Sabha elections. In the Gujarat Rajya Sabha elections it is still perhaps because we don't know for certain because they were secret polls but we were told that the NCP MLA may have been one who said that he voted for the BJP candidate instead of voting for Ahmed Patel. And one of the things that was said at that time, it was on the, at the behest of uh, senior NCP Rajya Sabha leader Praful Patel that he instructed him to vote for the BJP candidate and not for Ahmed Patel. This is something which had started off the speculation that now it's just a matter of time and the fact that Sharad Pawar has always been someone who has been appreciated, who the government speaks kindly of. In fact, the latest statements also coming from Finance Minister Arun Jaitley praising how Sharad Pawar has always been a constructive leader, how he's always been one who never says anything wrong about anyone. He is someone to be admired. So in all of this context, uh, the revelations by Shiv Sena became very, very interesting, but Supriya Sule speaking to us completely denies it.